Coming to hospital can be a bit daunting and as the coronavirus lockdown eases, many of our services are beginning to get back to what we call a new normal. I'm going to explain some of the changes we've made across the hospital to keep everyone safe during this pandemic. When the coronavirus outbreak began, we changed many of our outpatient services to virtual clinics. This includes telephone and video consultations. These appointments are safe, secure and offer great convenience rather than regular face-to-face -face appointments. As we move to, towards our new normal, it may be necessary to invite some patients into the hospital for a face-to-face -face appointment. If you are asked to come into an outpatient appointment, it's really important that you attend. We've asked you in because we really need to see you face to face. And when you arrive at the hospital, we want you to be reassured that we have measures and procedures in place to keep you and our staff safe. A lot has changed in the hospital since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. But if you are invited into the hospital for an appointment, it's really important you come alone unless you've pre-arranged with the department that you're able to bring someone with you. The first thing you'll see when you arrive is a hygiene station. There may be volunteers offering advice on safety, such as hand washing and keeping your distance from others. When coming to the hospital, please wear something to cover your mouth and nose at all times. This doesn't need to be a surgical face mask. You can find lots of information online on how to make or purchase face coverings. This will act as a barrier and prevent the spread of coronavirus. You will see that all of our staff are also wearing masks. The atrium coffee bar is open as normal. You would notice that we spaced all the tables away from each other for social distancing. And just to let you know that all our toilet facilities are open as normal. So as you go around the corridors of the hospital, you'll notice that there's some stickers on the floor just to remind you to maintain two metres distance from anyone else wherever possible. Also, when walking in the corridors, walk in single file and keep to the left. And if you need to pass anyone, just allow enough distance just to maintain two metres. I'm going to be showing you around the eye clinic today to show you the measures that we've put in place to keep patients and staff as safe as possible. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a bell on the door. When you arrive, press the bell and one of our staff members will come and greet you. This is to ensure that we're complying as best as we can with government guidance on social distancing. Hi there. When you come into the clinic, you might notice that there are some marks on the floor. These are similar to what you may have seen already in supermarkets and essentially they're just reminders to patients and staff to ensure that we all keep two metres away from each other. Another thing that you might notice in the clinic are all the signs saying one way and also the arrows on the floor which indicate the one-way system. We've introduced a one-way system going all the way around the eye clinic to reduce patients coming into contact with each other. Of course, one of the other things that you will be noticing is that all the staff members will be wearing the appropriate PPE. All staff members will be wearing face masks like I'm doing right now at all times and when your doctor or nurse sees you, they will also be wearing a, a, an apron and also wearing gloves too. In Bath, we're really lucky to have a very low number of patients with coronavirus. Specifically in the hospital, we have a low number of patients with the disease and these patients are being looked after in designated areas. It's really important that if you're sent an appointment to the outpatient clinic, that you do your best to attend this appointment. We're still open for business and committed to giving you the best care that we can. Finally, if you or anyone you live with have symptoms of coronavirus, please do not attend your appointment. But do call the appointments team on the number provided on your letter. Our hospital and our outpatient services may look a little bit different, but just to assure you, the care and the services we provide are just the same.